today we've released another significant update to GTO Check, which I will briefly cover in this video. The first update is that subscribers can now browse flops for all of the GTO Check solutions within the GTO Check Solver interface. So let's say I want to look up how to play a spot involving a button versus big blind single raise pot on a 654 rainbow flop. You'll see that a new chart icon appears. If I click on this icon, this spot is opened up within the GTO Check Solver dashboard, meaning that I can now make full use of all of its data analysis tools. For example, here we see that the solver is doing a lot of donking. Why is this? Well, when we take a look at the equity graph, we see that the big blind actually has the advantage in stronger hands, especially at the very top. So let's zoom in on this area to take a closer look and isolate the hands in this region. And when we do this, we get a clear picture of why the big blind is donking. We see that it has many more hands at the very top of the equity distribution due to its advantage in lower ranked cards. Right, the big blind has suited and offsuit two pairs, all the sets, and bottom, middle, and top straights. Now we should note that currently users will only be able to browse the flop within this dashboard, although we hope to be able to implement turn and river navigation in the future. However, users can still download these hands and browse the entire tree with the free version of Simple Postflop. And additionally, unlike the GTO Check Solver, which limits the nodes that can be explored, users can browse the entire flop game tree in this interface. So for example, if we want to see the button strategy following a check, we can click here in the sunburst. And then we have the option to navigate to all available betting nodes to see the big blind response to a bet by the button, namely a quarter pot bet, a half pot bet, a three quarters pot bet, or a full pot bet. Another caveat we should note here is that the 400 sim per month limitation applies to both downloads and views. This limitation is in part to deter using this as RTA. However, once a user views or downloads a sim, that user can continue to view or download it so long as he continues to have a subscription. The next update we're happy to announce is that users can now paste their own ranges into the GTO Check Solver. And this works with both simple preflop format as well as peel solver format. So if you, for example, only use a fold or three bet strategy from the small blind, or you only raise or fold from the small blind when it's blind versus blind, or your game has a different rake structure, you can now easily update the ranges to fit your particular game. To paste a sim, all you have to do is copy it from simple preflop like this, or from PO like this, and then press this up arrow, right click, click paste, and then click use range. And now the range has been updated and is ready to be solved. And if you want, you can also copy GTO Check's default range in the same format by clicking on the down arrow, and then you can paste this range into PO or simple postflop. The third update we're announcing today, which many of you have been waiting for, is support for Ignition. This should be working for heads up, 6 max, and 9 max anti and no anti games, though the parsing is still in beta mode, so if you encounter any issues, please reach out to support via email or on Discord. And last but not least, the wizards at Simple Poker, who handle all of the back end and solving, have significantly improved the accuracy for all calculations going forward. So for example, here's a 6 max button versus big blind sim that was solved a couple months back. This figure here, the Nash distance, shows the exploitability of the solution. A lower value means that the solution is closer to the optimal Nash equilibrium strategy. So for this solution, a 0.054 Nash distance means that this strategy is, in theory, exploitable for 5.4 big blinds per 100 hands, which I would say is moderately accurate. However, we ran the exact same sim with the new solving process, and now the Nash distance is more than twice as accurate with a Nash distance of 0.017. Now you might be thinking to yourself that these two sims look virtually identical, and yes, they are actually very close, both in terms of aggregate frequencies and individual frequencies. However, the more accurate sim will have some impact, particularly around hands that are playing mixed strategies, where small changes in EV may result in very large differences in frequency. Also, with more accurate EV values, EV regret will now become a much more powerful tool. 
So that's it for today's updates. We hope you guys can take full advantage of them and keep on the lookout for much more to come. Let's <laughs> go.